Hello everyone, it's Chris from Flaghouse, and this week I'm here with Colleen McCurry to look at some activities that you can do using these great balance pods. Balance pods are great, they take your fitness to the next level. You can add them into your circuit training, into your fitness activities, you can use the smooth side, you can use the spiky side, and it really is going to elevate your students in a fun way, bringing their fitness to the next level. So Colleen's got a great workout coming up with the balance pods, coming up next on the Flaghouse Activity Channel. All right, today we're gonna to be showcasing the balance pod set and this spiky design helps grip the device a little bit better and we're gonna show you some fun, amazing activities that you can do to get a great workout in with the balance pod. So you're gonna step on it with your, doesn't matter, right or left foot and just try to stabilize yourself and balance without letting that other foot go back to the floor. And you want to count it out for yourself, see how long you can hold that. All right, let's see how you do on the other side, right? Oh. So put the opposite foot on there and step on and see how long you can hold that for. Oh. Now this time we're gonna stabilize our balance. We're gonna use, use your arms, right? As we know that they help create leverage and then see if you can gently just little leg extension and back and you can tap the inside of the ball. So I go out and then I tap the ball. Let's see if you can get three of those in. Then we're going to go and we're gonna show you some other things. Now, we, many of us have seen yoga before and what, one thing that you can do with the, the balance pod is take those yoga poses and take them to the next level. So let's go back on and let's step on with our foot, right? And let's go for tree pose. So you're gonna start off by putting one foot on the inside, okay? Once you've balanced yourself, then if you're ready, you could add in the prayer right with your arms and then how do we elevate this to the next level we slowly go up let's go to the other foot with your tree pose are you ready okay so let's change feet and let's get our foot lined up okay once you're there then you could add the prayer okay so now what you do is right Zach's gonna start with one foot on there and then he's gonna go two feet one foot two feet and off, and then he comes to the end of the line. Ready? All right, now we're gonna change it up a little bit. Now we're gonna go two by two. Bend those knees a little bit. Right, get yourself into that claw. There you go, Zach. So doubles, right, we can again take an exercise that we're used to doing and we're going to elevate it by using the disc. Now, you're going to use that to go ahead and do, right, so you wanna be about shoulder width apart, so maybe bring those in a little closer, Alexa. There you go. Right? And you want to slowly sit back into your squat, use your arms for leverage, and stand back up. Right? So try to give yourself five, nice and easy, take your time. We're going to go ahead and flip our pods and show you how to use them on the flat side. So turn your pod over. She's going to lay her forearm on both of those. She's going to look like she's in a push-up position, and she would be able to hold the plank using those, and maybe for ready, let's try to do it everybody for five, right here, like this, five, Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Good job. So the balance pods, right? They have a fun, great design. You can use the flat side. You can use the spiky side, depending on what type of activities you're trying to do. And it's a way of raising a exercise to the next level and focusing on that core stability and balance. Great job. Thank you so much for checking out our videos. Please like, share, or drop us a comment, and you definitely want to subscribe to our channel. We always have a new episode every Wednesday morning. Click these links for more videos or access to the Flaghouse Activity Guide page. See you next time.